Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel, first and foremost, all praise to our power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect of Israel, Shalom. Earth Day, Esau Edom destroyed the earth. Earth Day is a joke. It's a joke. It's mockery. Because here it is. The planet Earth is in the worst condition that it's ever been in. Under the rulership of Esau Edom. Under the rulership of Esau, the so-called white man, the Edomites, so-called white race, so-called Caucasians. They have destroyed the Earth. So this is mockery and this is hypocrisy. This is mockery of the earth. And Esau, Edom are the biggest hypocrites on the planet earth. Esau is the top hypocrite. You have done nothing but steal, plunder, murder, and destroy the earth. Sucking the earth dry of all of its natural resources. And one day out of the whole year, you want to so-called dedicate to protecting the earth. Cleaning up the earth, helping the environment, protecting the environment. You're a hypocrite. So Earth Day is a joke and you will pay. Esau, Edom, you will pay for what you have done to the planet earth for what you have done to the heavenly father's creation because the planet earth is beautiful it's beautiful but under your rulership the planet earth is dying everything is dying and you look at the planet earth which you know this is on google right here which you see you know a picture of the planet earth which for you flat earthers out there the earth is round, not flat. The earth is round. It is a globe, according to the scriptures. The planet earth, you know, according to the most high, from how the heavenly father looks at it, it looks like a marble. The earth looks like a marble to the most high. It looks like a, a gem, you know, a gemstone. The planet earth is beautiful, but look what you devils have done. You're going to pay, man. You will pay. Let me get a scripture. There is a reason why the planet Earth is in the condition that it's in. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 4. How long shall the land mourn? How long shall the land or the earth mourn? How long shall the land or the earth suffer? And the herbs of every field wither. Why is this happening? And how long is it for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? So that's the reason why the earth is destroyed. It's because of the wickedness of them that dwell therein, because of the people that are in power. Esau, Edom, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who gave the planet earth into the hand of the wicked? The heavenly father, whose name is Yahweh. And he can do that. You know, the heavenly father ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. That's in the book of Daniel, chapter four. And he set up over the earth, the basis of men, the lowest of men. And Esau, Edom, they are the lowest. They are the most base nation out of all the heathen. And they are classified as the wicked. That's the reason why the earth is suffering. You know, the planet earth is catching hell, man. You know, you think about all the pollution in the upper atmosphere, you know, the chemtrails, you got, you know, plastic all in the water, you know, destroying the animals, destroying the sea life. You know, you got whales washing up on shore with nothing but plastic bags in their stomach, man. You know, what type of shit is this? You know, excuse my language, but hey, it gets you upset, you know? Esau Edom will be judged. You know, the heavenly father gave Esau this kingdom, but Esau, he's going to be judged.
for how he's run the earth. But let me read this again. How long shall the lamb mourn and the herbs or the plant life of every field wither? So even if you call yourself going vegan, you're still eating trash. You're still eating contaminated food. And why? For the wickedness of them that dwell therein. The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. So it's so much wickedness. The beast got to go. You know, because they have been, you know, uh, contaminated. You know, they have been polluted. The birds got to go because they have been polluted. Everything has been polluted under the rulership of Esau Edom. So it has to be consumed. It has to be destroyed by fire. That's the only way to cleanse the earth. So good job, Esau. Good job at being the devil and Satan. All right. The wicked. And this is what you said. You said he should not see our last end. You're acting like you're not going to pay for all this shit you did, man. The Heavenly Father saw everything that you've done. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me get a scripture on that. We're going to speak with scripture. That's the best way. Let the Bible talk. Psalms chapter 94. And I tell you what. Let's start at seven. And this is what Esau says right here. Yet they say. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Yeah, because they have said he shall not see our last end. The Lord don't see us doing all this. And the Lord does see your last end. And, and matter of fact, we're living during the end of you, the end of Esau's world, the end of all this madness. You know, you think you ain't going to pay for it. You about to pay. Verse eight. Understand ye brutish among the people and ye fools. When will ye be wise? So the Lord, he's calling Esau stupid. He's calling Edomite stupid, foolish. Brutish means stupid. And Esau is a fool because the fool have said in his heart, there is no most high. That's Psalms chapter 14. That's Esau's spirit. Verse nine. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Right, the Heavenly Father. He created the ear. You think he can't hear? He created the concept of hearing. He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He created our eyeballs. You know? He created vision. He that chastised of the heathen, shall not he correct? Yeah, because you're about to be punished. And just because he's about to punish you does not mean he loves you. This chastening right here is just, you know cold-blooded hate for the heathen, in particular Esau. And he's going to correct you. He that teaches man knowledge shall not he know? Yeah, because the Lord gave you a brain and he gave you understanding. He created understanding. He created knowledge. Yeah, how would know if the thoughts of man that they are a vanity? That's the point. But Esau, he's about to pay for destroying the earth. You know? And that new world order is a vain thing. That's vanity. And it's not going to happen. Your enterprise will not be a success. But Earth Day is a joke, man. You know, today is so-called Earth Day. But look at the Earth. Look at the Earth. But you know what? We're living during a great time of cleansing. The Lord is about to cleanse the Earth. He's about to clean up the Earth. You know? Now, the person that created Earth Day is a man by the name of Gaylord Nelson, you know, who was a senator, he created it in the spring of 1970, all right, as a way to enforce the issue of protecting the environment, you know, forcing it onto, you know, the national agenda, which is a joke, all right? Esau was created to destroy. Your blessing is the sword. You know, you're a weapon. You are only... Here to destroy. Even if Esau, even if Esau wants to do good, he can't do it. Esau can't get right. Because he's not programmed to do that. The Israelites are programmed to create, to bring forth life. 
to restore. So when the Lord, you know, kicks Esau off the seat, when the Lord kicks Esau off the throne, when Yahweh Shah comes back, the Lord is going to set up his people to restore the earth. That's our job. Jacob was created to give life. When we're in power, then the earth is going to flourish. Until then, while you're under the rulership of Esau, Edom, you're going to suffer. Everything is going to suffer. Okay? And that's facts. You know, why do you have something that's called an endangered species list? Look at this. You know, this is on worldwildlife.org. Now it says under species directory. It gives you the common name, the scientific name of these animals and their conservation status. And there are many, many animals that are critically endangered. They are endangered species. But why? Because of Esau. You know? The Amur leopard, black rhino, Bornean orangutan, cross river gorilla, eastern lowland gorilla, hawksbill turtle, jobbing rhino, orangutan. And the question is why? Because of Esau, man. Because of Esau Edom. You know, because of the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Even the other heathens, you know, the natural Gentiles, the other nations that ruled before Esau, they didn't destroy the earth. They did not destroy the earth. You know, that they weren't the reason why you have an endangered species or many different endangered species. They didn't do that. Esau did that. Thank the so-called white man. Who is Satan incarnate? You know, the devil on earth. <laughs> Even though, you know, there was a um, what was that? A uh, basically a program. It wasn't a show, but um, it was a documentary on Netflix, and it may still be on there. And it's called "The Devil We Know." You know, and they're speaking about certain chemicals. That uh, that people basically had to work around, you know, when when um when they were creating uh, certain material to uh, to cook on, you know, I roughly remember the documentary. I got to watch it again, but basically, they call one of those chemicals the devil we know, and many different people, in particular women, that worked around these chemicals in these different factories and plants, you know, th their children were born with deformities. If these women were pregnant and they worked around these different chemicals, all right, and we all have cookware that have these chemicals inside it. So, you know, we're polluted. We have toxic chemicals inside of us. So it's a blessing that we're not deformed. But see, that's why, you know, our brain chemistry is off. You know, we have all these problems wrong with us that we don't even know about. It's, it all roots back to Esau, the devil we know. You know, they call it that chemical the devil we know, but the devil we know really is Esau. You know, but look at all these endangered species. You know, Saola, they even have certain animals you never even heard of. I haven't heard of that animal, you know. Sumatran elephant, Sumatran orangutan, Sumatran rhino, Sunda tiger. You get the point though. African wild dog, Asian elephant. Black-footed ferret, but really everything, everything is endangered, even humans. Everything is on the endangered species under Esau. That's why Yahweh Shai prophesied and he said through the spirit, except those days be shortened, except those days, the days we're living in be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. So everything in danger, man. Look at this, man. Black-footed ferret, blue whale, and whales are beautiful. But look what Esau is doing, man. Bluefin tuna, bonobo, borneo pygmy elephant. Elephants are beautiful. But see, look at what Esau Edom is doing. You know? Because of his greed, he's stripping all the different elements. Excuse me. He's he's uh stripping all of the all the different elephants of their ivory. Of their ivory. He cares nothing about creation, man. Hey, going back to what the Heavenly Father said to Moses, 
The heavenly father said he will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So Amalek, these fake Jews, they are the chief house of Edom. They are the chief house of uh, Satan. These Amalekites, these Jewish people that are in power, they are the top Edomites and they are at war with the creator. If they are at war with our power, if they are at war with the Most High, they are at war with the Lord's creation. That's why they're destroying everything. You know, but you get the point. You know, penguins, dolphins, everything. Elephants, pandas, turtles. You know. Black spider monkey. A dugong, forest elephant, giant panda, giant tortoise. And you know what? If things aren't in danger, they're vulnerable. So if they're not in danger, they are vulnerable to becoming in danger soon. Esau got to go. Point blank, period. And a lot of you remember what happened last year dealing with the Amazon rainforest, how it was on fire. And it's rumored that the reason why the Amazon rainforest was on fire, Esau, he used what is called do, which are direct energy weapons. He can shoot lasers from the upper atmosphere. Basically, you know, from outer space or, you know, from the upper atmosphere, Esau can only go so far to the heavens, but he's shooting down lasers on the earth that are causing fires. OK. That set the rainforest on fire. Now, let's say if it wasn't that, let's say people want to call it a conspiracy theorist. Well, you do have what is called or what are called illegal loggers. People responsible for deforestation, you know, because, see, it's all about an agenda. They want to create more farmland down in Brazil, in particular in the Amazon. So they want to clear out all that forest to make more room for cattle so those cattle can uh, graze so people can eat more Brazilian beef. It all goes back to greed, man. It all goes back to greed. You see? And they set the Amazon ablaze. They set it on fire. And Amazon makes up what they say 20% of the earth's oxygen. What they call the lungs of the earth. So what happens if the Amazon is gone? What happens if you make the Amazon a damn desert? That's basically what you're doing. And you're doing that to the whole earth. And then imagine, think about all the different species all the animal and plant life in the Amazon. But you're destroying the Amazon so people can eat more damn beef. Esau is a damn madman. That's why they did it. But they're going to pay. They will pay. You think about all the animals dying from 5G. You know, I type this in in the Google search engine. And there are a lot of different videos you can look at. Okay. Some of them on YouTube, some of them on different websites. Now it says at the top, hundreds of bees drop dead around 5G towers in California. And they're setting up these 5G towers everywhere. Actually, they're already set up, but they're setting up more. They're installing these towers everywhere. And it's a well-known fact. They emit a large amount of radiation. We're being microwaved, like Elder Pastor Gabar said. Hundreds of birds dead during 5G experiment in Netherlands. And that's two years ago. Or the time on that video, the length is a minute and 44 seconds. Yeah, that's why we need the elect to come into power. Under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the only way you ain't gonna have none of this madness, man. Ain't gonna be no madness like this in the kingdom of heaven. You know, where uh, birds and bees are dropping dead. You know, everything is going to be fruitful and multiply. Well, that's where you get the term, the birds and the bees. You know, if your father was around, you know, for you men out there, you know, when you were young, you know, you were a young adult around 13, 14, 15. If your father was around, he gave you the talk of the birds and the bees, you know, basically about you eventually, you know, meeting a young woman, you know, and you experiencing those feelings you know 
the birds and the bees. You already know what it is. That chemistry. All right. You hot, she hot. And hey, that's what happens. But see, everything's going to be fruitful in the kingdom of heaven. Under Esau, forget about it. You know, human beings are going to be fruitful. And the animals and uh, plant life. You know, everything, insects, everything's going to be fruitful, but it's going to be balanced. It's going to be in order. Right now, everything is out of order. Because of who? You could thank the so-called white man. Thank Esau Edom. Everything out of order. Psalms chapter 82, verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. So the planet Earth is in a position or condition of darkness, meaning ignorance. No one knows what the hell is going on, man. Except the hopeful elect. We have the light. We have this knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We see what's going on. We're not walking in darkness, you know, but we're in an evil time. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything is out of order. So to hell with some earth day. Every day should be earth day. Every, every day going to be earth day in our kingdom. Really, you know, it's, it's the, the, the uh, day, like, like it tells you in the Psalms, it's the day that the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, but we're going to rejoice and the planet Earth is going to rejoice. But the planet Earth is going to be continually protected in our kingdom. You don't have to dedicate one day to the planet Earth. The Earth is going to be good forever and the planet Earth abides forever. Like it tells you in Ecclesiastes, but see, Esau has to go first. You know, the Lord, he's going to hit that reset button. Everything has to start over, you know. Everything is upside down, but the Lord is going to set it right side up very soon. Okay. Very soon. So, I mean, man, you get the point. You get the point. Here's an article here. Speaking about 5G, which when you look up 5G on Google, they're only going to tell you so much because Esau is covering his tracks. They have a lot of disinformation dealing with 5G, calling it a conspiracy theory. If you're speaking about the negativity of 5G, if you speak about the negative effects, okay, and the real health risk, the real health risk of 5G, you know, see this information is really going out, but Esau is doing his best to hide it. Now, this is on howtogeek.com. How worried should you be about the health risk of 5G? You should be very worried. All right, it's put up by Dave Johnson. And Esau speaks with a double tongue because he's the devil. He's that old serpent. All right. And this is a recent article. You know, I'm going to read a little bit about this, but Esau was lying his ass off. Now it says 5G, the next generation of cellular technology for the next generation of smartphones is imminent. And also them putting a chip in you. They want to do that too. And with it, there's concern about the health risk of this new, more powerful network. Yeah, high speed internet, you know, high speed connectivity. How worried should you be about the coming 5G health apocalypse? Now you saw joking about it, but it's real. By now, you may have seen articles on Facebook or alternative health websites. The gist, 5G is a dangerous escalation of traditional cellular technology, one packed with higher energy radiation that delivers potential damaging effects on human beings. And this is true. These effects. That's why all the birds dying, all the bees dying. You know, everybody's sick. Everyone is getting migraines and headaches. You know? Having, you know, more negative thoughts, etc. Some 5G conspiracy theorists, or that's what Esau calls us, contend that the new network generates radio frequency radiation that can damage DNA and lead to cancer. And you know what? Even who? The World Health Organization said the same thing. And they said it some years back. I'm going to show that in a minute. Now it says, cause or cause oxidative damage that can cause 
premature aging, disrupt cell metabolism, and potentially, potentially lead to other diseases through the generation of stress proteins. Facts. Now it says some articles cite research studies and opinions by reputable organizations like the World Health Organization. Yeah. Now they're going to lie a lot in this article. They lie a lot. So let's get something that's true. Just bear with me really quick. Because let's get what the World Health Organization said out of their own mouth. All right. Because Esau Edom. He's very talented at lying. He's very good at lying, you know. Right here. Now it says in 2011, the World Health Organization weighed in classifying RF radiation, which is radio frequency radiation, as a group 2B agent, which is defined as possibly carcinogenic to humans, which is what? Cancer causing. You can get cancer, different types of cancers from radio frequency radiation. But you want to have an Earth Day. You know, this stuff is killing more people than the damn coronavirus or so-called coronavirus. And it's been rumored that, you know, the uh, 5G. Um, what's the uh, the term? I'm, I'm going to say a uh, base or headquarters or the main place of the experiment is in Wuhan, China. OK. But see, that's where the so-called coronavirus started. So Esau Edom, he's working from all angles. Esau and the heathen, you know, because the people of China are Moab. OK, but all these heathens are working together to bring destruction. But it's mainly Esau. It's mainly Esau that's leading this thing. OK, and I'm not saying that the coronavirus is 5G. Actually, 5G is much worse. OK. But there are videos on that if you want to check them out. You know, but all the facts are going to come out later, you know. That's the point on that. So radio frequency radiation causes cancer. But the point is Esau is destroying the earth also. Destroying the earth, destroying the people, the earth, animals, everything. So let me get my closing scriptures. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 24. Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5. The earth also is defiled or polluted under the inhabitants thereof, which represents Esau, the people in power, because they have transgressed the laws. They transgressed the laws of the Bible. Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Esau, Edom have not kept any of the commandments. The earth will be in peace. When Israel comes into power, we're going to be one with the earth. You know, we're going to work together with the earth. Because we're a peaceful people, you know, and we love creation, but Esau doesn't. You know, they transgress the laws. They don't keep the land Sabbath. They have all these GMO crops, you know, and the scriptures say you shouldn't uh, sow your field with diverse seeds. But this man has GMO seeds, genetically modified organisms. You know, he's doing all type of madness, man. You know. Broken the everlasting covenant. Now, the covenant is really for the nation of Israel. But Esau, you know, they they declared the Bible as the law of the land. And they took this book upon themselves calling themselves Jews, calling themselves Christians. Here it is. Our people, the majority of our people, have amnesia as a nation. Don't know who the hell they are, but the people that are guilty for taking our nationality, they're guilty of identity theft, parading, you know, parading themselves, man, around the earth as us, and they don't keep one commandment. And they destroyed the earth, man. So they broke the everlasting covenant. You know? Taking this book upon themselves and have not done nothing but once again 
you know, steal, murder, and destroy. You know, matter of fact, let me go back to that. I'm not done. Reading that again. The earth also is defiled on the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, broken the laws of the Bible. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth. What's that curse or that plague? Nuclear destruction is going to devour the earth to clean up the earth. Therefore the curse, therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate, meaning destroyed. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned. And few men left. But why? We read it. They have transgressed the laws. They have destroyed the earth. So the earth is defiled. So the earth has to be cleaned up. Go from there. Revelation 11. Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. The nations are angry at Esau. That's why the different nations are going to shoot missiles on America. Even European nations. The ten horns are going to shoot missiles on America. And America's Babylon the Great. And thy wrath is come. That's the wrath of the Most High. These nations being angry and shooting missiles on America. You know, so their anger really goes back to the Most High's anger or his wrath. Shooting missiles on America and the time of the dead that they should be judged. Who are the dead? The other nations. What makes them dead? They don't have the law, statutes, and commandments. This truth is not for them. All right? Because the law is life. If you don't have the law, you're dead. So the other nations are dead. And also two-thirds of our own people. They're dead. They're in a dead state of mind. All right. And the time of the dead that they should be judged when the Lord comes back. OK. And that main way of judgment is that nuclear destruction, that nuclear holocaust. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. All this is happening at the same time, because when that destruction comes, Yahweh Shai, he's coming in the chariots to save the elect, to save his servants, the prophets. That's their reward, salvation, the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shah coming in the chariots, that's the kingdom of heaven coming with power. And that thou shouldest give reward to thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, the holy ones, the Israelites of the elect, and them that fear thy name, the elect, small and great. So the elect believe in Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. All right, from the least to the greatest. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. That's what the Lord is going to do. I hope you were edified. All oh, praise to our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and blessed to the hopeful elect. Let me leave you with one scripture because it just came to mind. Because this shows you that. Esau, Edom, or what the scriptures call Lucifer. Esau is called Lucifer according to the Bible. All right? And it's the proof right here. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Lucifer means light bearer. Esau bears the power. He holds the power in wickedness. Okay? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? He destroyed the nations, you know, with his philosophies, but also literally destroying them. OK, we know with his way of life, but also everything that he does, you know, everything that Esau does. But it's like, how the hell did these devils go down? They had all this power. How did they go down? And they will go down. OK. And it's the point right here. Verse 17 that made the world as a wilderness. So Esau made the entire planet Earth like a wilderness. It's like the Earth is a damn desert under Esau. He destroyed everything. Hey, and destroyed the cities thereof. 
You see that? That opened not, that opened not the house of his prisoners. And we are the prisoners. Esau is not letting us free. Everyone is in total enslavement under Esau. But see, he wants to really make it permanent by putting a chip in you. So really, everyone is a prisoner, but the Lord really cares about the elect. You know? The Israelites being prisoners, but in particular, the elect. And the Lord, he's going to break us free when Yahweh comes back. Okay? But that's the point, man. Esau made the world as a wilderness. He destroyed the earth. So to hell with some earth day, man. The earth is going to rejoice and flourish under the rulership of the Israelites. You know? Beginning with Yahweh Shai and the elect. I hope you were edified. Shalom. Wa Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Abad Babal.